I 3D printed whole frame using blue PLA. You can see here the correct orientation. I've carefully removed all of the support material. It's very delicate, so I've been gentle with it. There is some plastic residue left, which should be cleaned off with X-Acto knife. It's very important, as this could damage the display ribbon cable. I'll start by removing the loose strings of filament on this part. Be careful not to cut yourself. I've cut myself like a bazillion times, so I'm a pro. As you can see, it's way smoother now. I've also smoothed out this part with soldering iron. For this video, I will be using my micro display, which you can easily buy on AliExpress for about $45. I folded the ribbon cable on top so that it would go to the left side. Be very careful not to fold it too tight, since you can easily damage it. Whole display fits right into the slot on top of the frame. Before putting it in, you have to route the cable through the plastic bridge. Once again, be very careful and delicate. When the cable is halfway in, put the display inside the frame. And now route the rest of the cable through this hole. I folded the cable right here so that it would connect with the board at straight angle. Here I've got the controller board which was included with the display and slimmed down HDMI converter. Controller board simply fits into the printed frame right here. And now I can safely connect the ribbon cable. Display came with set of optics which will allow us to see the image projected onto the glass. Optics are meant to be installed just below the display, inside the dedicated gasket. It's necessary to put them at an angle so it won't damage the reflector holders. Here is how it should look like when done correctly. This is the reflector. It's a piece of cheap HUD mirror for cars. I've cut it down to size using my Dremel tool. Reflector is meant to be installed just below the optics on top of the two arms. I've used the soldering iron to additionally secure it in place. Here I've got a piece of plexi container for storing documents. It's a perfect piece for creating custom flat optics. I will use 3D printed dummy lens to mark the outline with my X-Acto knife. It doesn't have to be deep cuts, you can simply scratch out the outline. I've used my circular saw to cut out the basic square shape. After that I carefully cut the plastic so it will match the marked outline. I've put the front glass inside the frame and melted it using my soldering iron. It can be done better if you have steady hands. I'm using regular HDMI cable to connect it with my Windows PC. As you can see, there's image visible right away. This is more or less how it looks. It's difficult to capture on camera, but the image is really crisp and clean. The flickering which you see right here is only visible on camera. There is no flickering when using it in person. And that's how you can easily build a basic augmented reality device. Huge thanks to all of my Patreons, hope that you enjoyed this video.